Hello everyone. So today in this lab activity, I'm going to be creating a two point or 0.285 molar concentration of um, indole acetic acid, which is a plant hormone that regulates uh, growth, causes phototropism, which is the act of the plant facing towards a light source. And to do this, I'm going to take this indole acetic acid powder, which is it's almost like a flower that you've left out too long out in a humid uh, environment. It's very sticky. And I'm going to be mixing it with sodium uh, hypochlor or sodium hydroxide because uh, indole acetic acid is not soluble in water. However, if you bring the pH of the water up to about 14, it'll be able to properly absorb. And, Anyways, what I'll do is I'll uh, get started. First, what I need is I need uh, 25 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. And actually, what I'll do here is I'll show you what I have. I got this box is where I keep all my um, light protected things. So in this case, uh, indole acetic acid is very light sensitive. So I, I uh, use this box to protect it. Sodium hydroxide, I have a bottle that I use to put the uh, hormone in, which is labeled already. I have a vortex mixer, a, some distilled water, and a scale. And I actually have this paper, piece of paper that I cut that I'm using as a uh, weight boat because the plastic weight boats that I have, the disposable ones, the hormone likes to stick to it and it, it it's just a mess. So it's easier just to do it that way, to just use a piece of paper. So what I'll do is I'll put the 25 milliliters of, uh, of um, sodium hydroxide into this graduated cylinder. Now it's important that you, for the, you know, as, if, if accuracy matters, don't use the graduations that are on any media bottle because as it says over here, it's, a, it's approximate. And sometimes they're right on and sometimes they're not depending on uh, which ones you buy even like this is the same brand as, as all the other ones I use and some of them are just a little bit different you want to use a graduated cylinder to get uh, proper um, accuracy okay right there now hi sodium hydroxide can be is a uh, very corrosive so you got to be careful not to get it in your eyes or your um, on your skin and I'm going to put it into this uh media bottle so now that i've done that i'm going to add the i, I need 2.5 grams of this in, indole acetic acid the concentration is very specific there's a reason why i need that concentration and the reason for it is because i'm i'm looking to add 10 micrograms of indole acetic acid per milliliter of algae solution or algae uh, st uh, culture area and there's 500 milliliters there and if I have this specific at this specific concentration if I uh, put a hundred mil um, microliters of this solution into that uh, culture beaker it will give me that specific concentration of, of uh, 10 micrograms per milliliter so that's why i'm getting it at this very specific amount uh two point or point two eight five moles and uh there it is it's kind of cakey sort of look to it and i'll top that off now it's important when dealing with any hormones that you dispose of it properly. If you're working out of a home lab, you can dispose of it in a, uh, you can go to like a, any local college that has a laboratory and ask them to dispose of it for you because you don't want this getting into, you don't want to dump it down the uh, water or, or down the drain and then end up messing with all sorts of uh, plant life and all that kind of stuff. It's a pollutant, essentially, a biological pollutant. And what I'll do is I'll, put it onto this uh, um, vortex mixer and I'll mix it until it's all uh, dissolved this thing is really cool you just press down on it and it it 
it vibrates in such a way that it causes the uh, whatever you're holding to mix without spinning. And as you see, it's starting to get a little more mixed. It has like the consistency or the look of almost like a beer. Now, it's uh, important when you're doing any sort of uh, experiments where your active ingredients are quite small, like in this case, mi microliters or micrograms per milliliter. Uh, you're talking about a millionth of a gram. It's important that you don't try to measure that stuff out. And instead, you make a, a stock solution in which you dilute it in such a way where if you take a specific amount, let's say one milliliter, you can transfer exactly what you need rather than trying to um, get a milligram or something small like that. It's a lot easier just to just just to measure out a diluted solution. You know, let's say you dilute it to one microgram per milliliter. Well, that means if you have one milliliter, you have one microgram. Now I'm going to put some uh, distilled water in here. I like to stop just before and then fill the rest slowly. That way I don't have to dump it back out because I've gone too far. Okay. And now I'm going to pour that in here. Oh, this stuff stinks. And then I'm going to vortex mix it again. And there you go. It's uh looks like day old piss. <laughs> and then what I'll now what I'll do is I'll put it into this uh light protected um uh container here. It's essentially just a dollar store uh toolbox and um and now I can uh put store it away and use it for any experiments I need. Well, that's, uh, that's it for my preparation of stock solution of indole acetic acid. Uh, thanks for tuning in.